Professor Honky Tonk here. Today we're checking out a really cool solo from Leon Rhodes that he played with Ernest Tubb and his Texas Troubadours on the live version of Driving Nails in My Coffin. So before I do a breakdown lesson on the solo itself, let's talk about what makes this solo worth studying, what makes this solo a good model solo. This solo is an example of ornamentation on the melody. So basically taking the melody of the song, dressing it up a little bit, filling in some notes between the main melody notes and so forth. So I'm going to play the solo with just the melody notes. So you'll see on the tablature that I have on the screen, I circled all the melody notes. Now some of these notes were displaced rhythmically, so I've moved them to where they would be in the melody. So I've slightly altered the rhythm, but you'll hear that the melody notes are clearly present in the solo. Let's check it out. All right, let's take it one line at a time. I'm gonna go slowly and play the whole line with the metronome, and then I'm gonna break it down. I like to keep the met on two and four to approximate a backbeat. One, two, and one, two. Let's break that down. So it's gonna start off eighth fret, on the second string with your fourth finger, your pinky, going to the first string, fifth fret, with your first finger. Then pinky, eighth fret, first string. So the pickups are gonna be one, two. So try that much. Ready, and one, two. Now let's add on to that. After that, we're gonna go One and two and three, four. So that's going to be eighth fret going to the fifth fret, fourth finger to the first finger. So the whole thing so far. One, two. Let's try it again. Ready? And one, two. Next, we're going to add on just back and forth between the fourth finger and the uh, uh, pointer finger between four and one. Okay, so let's do that much all together. It's going to sound like this. Ready, and one, two. Let's try that again. Ready, and one, two. Then we're going to do a hammer-on pull-off lick in a triplet. Three lolly four is kind of how that rhythm is going to go. Three lolly four. So that's going to be fifth fret. First finger, hammer on to the eighth fret, then pull off of the eighth fret. Then eighth fret on the second string. So just try that. Ready, one, two. Ready, one, two. One more time. Ready, and one, two. So next we're going to have a slide. And it's going to be a slide that's kind of going to be in tempo to approximate a chromatic fragment on that triplet. So I'm doing it on the, uh, the second finger is what I have written, but sometimes I go to the third finger. Uh, just depends on where my fingers want to go, but we'll do second finger. Second finger, starting on the fifth fret of the second string, doing a glissando down, and then I re-articulate first fret, second string with the first finger. So going back to the hammer on pull off, one, two. Ready, one, two. Ready, and one, two. Okay. And then to finish out that line, we've got a little three and and. So second finger, second fret, third string, open third string, first finger, first fret, second string. 
Let's try that. One, two. Oops, try it again. Ready? One, two. So now let's do the hammer on pull off into the slide into the uh, little syncopated ending. Ready? And one, two. Try it again. Ready? And one, two. So the whole line. Ready? And one, two. Again, ready and one, two. All right, y'all, so great job on that first line. Let's check out the second line. I'm gonna play it with the Met. One, two, and one, two, three, four, one. All right, so let's get into that a little bit. So we've got to start off our little pickup notes there. It's a syncopated rhythm that goes like and, and three, and four. So the rhythm again goes one, two, three, four, one. And, and three, and four. We're gonna slide that second finger uh, from the second to the third fret, going to the fourth finger on the fifth fret. Try that with me. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. And then we've got one and two and and four and kind of a syncopated rhythm. Goes from the eighth fret down to the fifth fret, fourth finger to first finger, down to the eighth fret of the second string, walk back up. So it's, let's try that much. Ready, go. Try it again with me. Ready, go. So from the beginning, we've got one, two, three, four, one. Next, we've got a little scale line with the flatted seventh scale degree in it, a little bluesiness. So we're gonna start on the end of one counting it like this. Rest and two and three and four, one. Rest and two and three and four, one. And the notes are gonna be a third finger on the fifth fret of the second string. Then first finger, third fret, first string. Third finger, fifth fret, first string. Then fourth finger on the sixth fret. Try that much. Three, four, one. So now we're gonna add on two more notes to that. And we'll go to the downbeat of the next bar with a little hammer on pull off. So the way that's gonna sound is one. Three, four, one. Now here I do a slightly different fingering than uh, Leon used. I like to go to the open string. I have a hard time getting to the fifth fret on the pinky how he did. So I go. And I know the line's cut off. The next note you're going to have to end, or it's on the beginning of the next line, is a whole, uh, third fret on the first string with your second finger. Let's try that. Three, four, one. This is one of the tougher licks in the piece. Let's try it again nice and slow. Three, four, one. Try it again. Three, four, one. And then a little quarter note triplet lick. So that's third string, first finger on the second fret. With the second finger, third fret. Open second string. First string, third fret with the uh, second finger. It's gonna sound like this. Let's try it. Ready, go. Make sure that's really even. Evenly one. Ready, and one, two. 
Again, ready, and one, two. So let's try the second half of the line, starting on the fifth fret of the second string. One, two, three, four, one. So now the whole line. One, two, three, four, one. All right, great job so far. Let's try combining the first two lines. One, two, and one, two. So when we get to line three, it's almost exactly like the first line, just different pickups. So the pickups, we start on the and of beat two, using the second finger on the first string, side from the second fret to the third fret, and then third fret again to the fifth fret. So it's one, two. Try that with me, one, two. One more time, one, two. Then these are the same notes we had before, but just in a different rhythm. So let's try this whole line, starting on those new pickups, going into the slightly altered rhythm. Ready, and one, two. Try that one more time. Ready, and one, two. All right, so we're on the fourth and final line. Have a new set of pickups. The rhythm, and, and three, and four, and one. The notes, starts with the open, third string, going to the first fret of the second string with the first finger. Open third string, and third fret of the second string with the third finger. Open third string. And then slide the third finger from three up to five. So we get. Try that with me. One, two, three, four, one. And again, one, two, three, four, one. So starting uh, right there on that slide. One, two, and three, and four, and one. So that's. Starting on beat two, that's going to be third fret of the first string with the first finger, down to the fifth fret of the second string with the third finger, then third fret to the fifth fret on the first string, first finger to, uh, it says second finger, but I'd really do third finger. That's a little typo on my part. So we have... Back to the third fret. Let's try that. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Then we have a pretty cool bluesy lick here. So we have third fret twice on the first finger. And then we're going to go to third finger on the fifth fret. Then slide your second finger from the fourth fret to the third fret on the second string. Try it with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, again, and go. Then the first finger goes down to the first fret of the, first of the second string. Then uh, second finger goes down to second fret of the third string. Then open third string. So we have... So starting on the slide, let's try just that little bit. Ready, go. Ready, go. And then resolve to the first fret of the second string. So let's try that together. Ready, go. Then to end it, we've got that little... 
lick there, sliding the second finger from the third fret to the fifth fret on the second string. Third fret to the fifth fret on the first string. Not sliding, this time articulating first finger to third finger. Then fourth finger, eighth fret. We'll flourish to end it. So going back to the third measure of the phrase, Let's check that out again on that third fret of the first string. So let's go back to the third measure and go to the end. So it's going to sound like... Play that with me. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now let's do the entire line, starting on the pickups. One, two, ready, and one. So let's go back to the third line and play the third line and the fourth line together. One, two, three, four, one, two. a slow tempo. One, two, and one, two. Alright folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Be sure to like and subscribe and look for more content to come very soon. This is Professor Honky Tonk signing off reminding you the record is the textbook. Happy practicing.